guys, Buenos Dias. It is dia day two, right? Day two? Day two of the hunt. Arizona. Martin is, isn't supposed to be doing what he's doing right now, but he's running the camera. But this is the camera guy hunt. Yesterday was amazing. If you guys haven't watched yesterday's video, go watch it. We are headed to back out to go find a giant mule deer. Guys, we were in Arizona hunting an over-the-counter tag. We are hunting with big Chino outfitters. You got, anybody can come do this. Anybody. Buy a tag, come to Arizona, hunt deer. Either with an outfitter or do yeah, yourself. Wow. Yeah. These guys spend a lot of time down here scouting. They know where these bucks are. We wanted to cool hunt for, for Martin and Logan, and that's what we got. But big Chino outfitters, man. They're cool dudes. Anyways, guys, we're, we're heading out at 6 o'clock. 6 10 in the morning uh it gets light about 7 30. we're headed to a, the same area is it close to the same area i think we're going to go on a hike is what i heard there's some good bucks out there today's going to be perfect too it stormed the second half of yesterday and from what i can tell it looks like blue skies so it's going to be a good day for sure i was under the assumption that people come to arizona in the winter because it's warm, right? Like people come, like they have summer or winter homes in Arizona, correct? Logue? You guys what, at guys? home? Somebody answer me, I don't know. It snowed. It's cold. It it's was a 10, 10 degrees. It's colder here right now in Arizona than it is in Pocatello. Hill. Yeah. And there might be more snow on the ground. It snowed last night and the storm blew through and it's cold. Look at. You can't even see it. It's so cold. Ten degrees, Logue. What's your thoughts for today? I feel like I feel like late. I feel like it's a late season rifle deer hunt. It's not. It's an archery hunt. Um, it's real cold this morning. He said it's good when it's cold this morning. It's not quite crunchy. Right, um, show us what you're doing with your feet. I'm, I'm I'm simulating what is known as a stock. That was more like simulation of like Western country dancing. <laughs> line dance. I was simulating line dancing. Hopefully, if the sun does come out today, it melts it all off, because if it doesn't... Well, I can tell you the sun it will come out today. It comes out every day. Well, <laughs> see how I have a camera in my hand right now? If the sun comes up today... Guys, today the might be the sun will come day out in, uh, tomorrow. Of years the sun doesn't come out. Well, we're Martin, still, we're Martin still brought up scientific fact. We'll let you know. We'll get back to you. Uh, There's a dark happens. side of the moon. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Look we'll it up. For sure. The moon is still there. No, it's not. Dude. No, it's not. The moon's gone. Okay, can we talk about the banter when we, we, we turn the reins over to the camera, guys, is strong. It's been strong for the last day and a half, and it's just going to get stronger. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. I think it's just going to get better. We had an absolute riot yesterday. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, go watch it. But Martin and Logan, they deserved, they earned, they do what, did whatever. They worked their butts off last year for us, and so this is kind of our thank you to them. Bring them on a hunt. It's all up to them. Uh, we're in charge of running the cameras. Hopefully we're doing an okay job. We'll never match what Logan and Martin do, but we're trying. So I think it's going to be a good day. All the things are, are saying it's going to be a good day. So we'll see what happens. Glass, 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 man, it's the name of the game. It seems like, well, I think maybe we we opt for these type of hunts because I would say 90% of what we do out in the woods is always starts with, or it begins with glass. If you guys are looking to do a Western hunt and you've never done one before, there's a phrase out here that says, let, let your glass do the walking, which means you don't have to go and cover all this country on foot at first sit and look at it find where the animals are find what they're doing and you we always do that through our vortex and then once we find something we want to go pursue then that's when you go actually put boots on the ground
into a new spot. Deer weren't really running around over here. There's a nice little mountain over here. We're gonna hike up the ridge, see what we can see. I guess we had a couple spotters were in a different area than we were and they radioed us and said they found a big, two big bucks actually. The guy that was spotting them, he said two dogs, like canine dogs, were chasing these deer around. So we kind of lost them. We don't know where the dogs came from. We're not sure where the deer went, but we're gonna hike up on this ridge, try to get better vantage point and try to relocate them just from the left of that power pole on that flat that you can kind of see. Yeah. And you kind of just chased them off into that, down into that cut. And so we're just trying to see if we can get a better angle gotcha. in on them. Kind of where that little snow bank is, that yep. flat there. Okay. okay. Just trying to relocate these bucks. Lock would spot them, but then some weird things happened. There's a couple like uh, dogs that were chasing them down there, which is pretty bizarre because there's not really many people out here. You guys see anything yet? Nothing yet. Kind of a hard vantage from here. Yeah, with all the trees. Is that kind of where he was? So, and then there's this little knoll right here in front of us. This is a new area that we haven't been to, that the guys haven't been to in a while. But we hiked up probably the tallest mountain in the surrounding area and uh, glassed all sides. Um, saw one buck about an hour ago. Cody was saying he looked like a big two point, but he was just on the edge of private and public. He actually jumped the fence onto private, went up into the timber, and we haven't seen him since. So it's kind of a close to the day, just taking steps, getting out there, and glassing country. That's what I have to say. Martin? Oh, slow day. Just uh, supposed to be good action based on like the lunar charts and all of that, so. That was interesting. We'll see how tomorrow goes. We'll just keep at it. We got plenty of time, and there's a lot of guys' eyeballs out here, so we'll turn up something big. Eric? Food. Hola. How's it going, guys? We're back here at the ranch house. Fish, run, go! I'm sure you can. We're do doing barbecue like, chicken. As fast as you can. Fisk, and he's mashed like, potatoes. And it looks amazing. I'm going to go grab a couple drinks. Martin here is going to give you a tour. So every night we pop in here and everyone kind of comes together, tells stories of how the day went. Um, we're still waiting on a few guys. But tonight we have a nice warm meal. That looks good. So good. Just getting ready to chow down. But we've got some pretty cool mounts in here too. These elk were taken up here, right? On this, where we're hunting? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right so, right and then you guys probably saw this buck on social media. Giant, newly, uh, 250 score. We can only hope. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I mean, that mass is pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, video doesn't do it justice. Um, that's what we're looking for for tomorrow. 
Maybe half that size. I don't know. Even. Come look at this guy. Can you show him this guy? Yeah, that's a good one. So this guy. Oh. Killed with the same tag. Same scenario we're in. This is definitely a possibility. Yeah, there's bucks like that running around. Yeah, Martin was almost on one. Yeah, but that's what we're looking for, ladies and gents. Like this. <laughs>